<laughs> hey guys. Sorry I didn't um, make any videos the last couple days. I was a little depressed and I didn't want to like spread that around. You know, I've been trying to address some of my own fears and stuff. Um, yeah, and so I thought maybe it would be cool to talk about fear and fearlessness and bravery and all that stuff. So right now I am expecting, welcoming, thankful for, blessed with, big, great, grand, wonderful opportunities. And there's been a little voice in the back of my head that's like, this might be too big for you. You might drop the ball. How are you going to hold all of that? What are you going to do with all of that opportunity and responsibility? And, you know, um, that is a lot of what I've been thinking about lately. What am I going to do with all of that? And I'd like to think that I'm going to say, yes, I'm ready. Been ready. I'm the perfect one. Thank you for choosing me. And lead in love. Follow the path of love. Be brave. But that's just scary, man. It's scary. And I think about the path of fear and it doesn't seem as fun. Like living life held back because you're trying to be cautious. Living life held back because you're doing what other people said. You know, I, I share my excitement and my dreams and people shit all over it with all these fears. Like, what if this happens and this and people like, and, and I believe them sometimes, I let it get to me and I, I, that's one thing the CPA told me to stop doing, stop sharing all of these things because they've never done what you're doing. And these people are only talking out of fear because they won't. They're the types that are afraid. <clears throat> and it's scary, but it really depends on what type of person you want to be. And the type of person I choose to be is a leader, is an achiever, is successful, brave. And I was thinking also between the difference between being fearless and being brave. And I think fearless is kind of being an idiot, you know. Fear does serve for something. It keeps us alive, you know, and we do have to honor that. We do have to respect it. And so that's, you know, something I've been working on um, is honoring my fear. I realize that it serves a purpose. It keeps me alive. But I, I have everything I need to survive. But do I have everything I need to thrive? And I think to have everything you need to thrive, you need to act in love and not fear. And so sometimes you have to thank the fear. Thank you for your services. But I'm going to let you go because it's time for me to grow. And so that's what I've been working on. Letting go of fear. And stop listening to the naysayers because I'm doing something so big that these people have never done before and probably have not even fathomed. And I was talking to my friend and I was like, I'm going to be so great. How about this? I am so great. But like with that, there comes a lot of bosses, if you will, in like the video games, you know, the ones that make you prove that you can make it to the next level. And you got to boss up. There is this meme, <laughs> I was showing it to my friend the other day, it's like, when life tells you to boss up, 
one, you cry about it, and two, boss up. You have two options to cry about it, or one, one option, one to cry about it, two to boss up, and it was like, I'm gonna do both. That's me, I cry a lot, I'm the sense of diva. Um, but anyways, so back to being fearless, being stupid, you gotta honor that fear. Let it go, but here's the thing, being brave is having that fear, hold on, and carrying on despite of it. And people tell me often, like, Shelby, you're so brave. Like, I could never do that because I'm, like, I would never do that because it's not me or something. And all I can hear is because I'm scared. And to be honest, I'm scared too. You know, people are like, oh, I, li I wish I could do all your looks and your wigs and show your nips and stuff. And <laughs> that's just not me. And it's like, yeah, you're scared too, okay. Sorry, my nose is running. I don't want to show you guys wiping it, but me telling you is what? Ugh, oh my God. See? <sighs> um, I'm scared to do all of these other things. But like I've said before, I'm also scared to not be myself. And I'm also scared to be myself because people are mean and judging and um, sometimes they ignore you. <laughs> the complete opposite. They're not loving, but they're not mean. I don't know. They're just not supportive. So anyways, yeah, I get, I, I'm, I get scared too. Um... But yeah, I do it anyways because I'd rather follow my heart and do things out of love. I'd, I'd rather say I love myself enough to chase my dreams instead of, yeah, I was so fearful that I didn't. Like I said, it's been something I've been working on the last couple of days is, am I saying yes to the next level? Am I saying yes to the bigger me? Or am I living in fear? Am I living out of love or fear am I doing what I love and expecting the world to work everything out for me or am I suffering because I'm afraid the world won't <sighs> anyways Life, right? <laughs> trying to be brave, trying to step into my power. You know, I posted my song. You know, that's scary for me. I share my art. That's scary for me. But I love it. And I, I know that one day I'm going to make tons of money because others are going to love it too. And it's worth it, because I got value. Um, and all these other things that I'm working on, you know, I'm really scared to do it, because they're very big. But I'm big, and it's just a remembering, you got the power. I got the power. Same, just trying to remember, I got the power. Live in love. Remember my magic. I hope you guys remember your magic today. And live in love. Look, my girl found a lover. Oh, oh my God, I gotta watch out because this shit is scary. What is cute? Puppy love. I want somebody to puppy love me. Hi, baby. Anyways, have a good day, guy. Do something brave. <sighs> okay, bye.